Hello guys, how are you today? Today we are going to practice again the vocabulary, okay? We are going to practice the new vocabulary. So please take your cards and listen to me. Look at the pictures and repeat after me, please. Butterfly. Butterfly. Ladybug. Ladybug. Bee. Bee. Ant. Ant. Fly. Fly. Wings. Wings. Antony. Antony. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Chrysalis. Chrysalis. Insects. Insects. Now, let me show you a new way to practice with your flashcards. Déjame ahora enseñarte una manera nueva de, de practicar con tus tarjetas. ¿Ok? Revisa, por favor, la estructura de lo que vamos a utilizar. Vamos a utilizar el auxiliar tú en das. Tú en das. ¿Ok? Recuerda que el do se usa cuando estamos hablando de plural y el das de singular. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, do butterflies, do butterflies have six legs? Do butterflies have six legs? Las mariposas tienen seis patas. Checa que uso el do porque puse mariposas, butterflies. No utilicé una, utilicé varias. Do butterflies have six legs? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Sí. Or no, they don't. No, they don't. ¿Ok? The next one. Do bees, do bees have five eyes? Do bees have five eyes? Como puedes ver, utilizo nuevamente el do porque estoy hablando de bees, abejas. Do bees have five eyes? And the answers are yes, they do. Yes, they do. Or no, they don't. No, they don't. Okay? Now, the next examples. I'm going to use the auxiliary does. Does because I'm talking about one, one object, one insect. Does butterfly, just one, does butterfly have antennae? Does butterfly have antennae? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Or no, it doesn't. Okay? The next one. Does B, does B have wings? Does a B, does a B have wings? Listen again. Does a butterfly have antenna? Tiene una, una mariposa antenas? Yes, it does, or no, it doesn't. Does a bee, tiene una abeja, does a bee have wings? Tiene una abeja o tiene alas una abeja? Does a bee have wings? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Or no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Or no, it doesn't. You are going to use the flashcards to make some questions like this. We are going to do some questions in our notebook, okay? We are going to use our notebook to write some questions. We are going to do this in the class, okay? Now it's time to work in the Smarty book, okay? So please read your Smarty book. Okay, open your Smarty book on page number 16. Open your Smarty book on page number 16. Now we are going to talk about the life cycle of a butterfly. The life cycle of a butterfly. Talk to you in Spanish. 
ciclo de vida de una mariposa. ¿Ok? Read and look at the pictures. Listen to me. Read and look at the pictures, please. Number one. Okay, look at the number one. A butterfly lays eggs. A butterfly lays eggs. Una mariposa pone sus huevos. Number two. The egg becomes a caterpillar. The egg becomes a caterpillar. El huevo se convierte en una oruga. Number three. The caterpillar becomes a chrysalis. The caterpillar becomes a chrysalis. La oruga, la oruga hace, se envuelve en un saquito llamado crisálida. ¿Ok? Number four. The chrysalis changes into a butterfly. The chrysalis changes into a butterfly. Aquí ocurre la metamorfosis, ¿sí? La cristálida cambia y entonces ya no es una oruga, sino una hermosa mariposa. Number five. It's an adult butterfly now. It's an adult butterfly now. Adult. Ahora se convierte la mariposa en un adulto. ¿Ok? What are you going to do now? Please, look at the pictures and put the pictures in order and talk. Okay, what are you going to do here? Okay, okay, which is which of this is number one? Okay, I'm going to take, I'm going to change the two. I'm going to take the red color. Yes, okay. Which picture of this is number one? Is the egg? Which is the egg? Yes, this is the number one. Okay, number two says. The caterpillar becomes a caterpillar. Where is a caterpillar? Yes, this is a caterpillar. Number three, a chrysalis. Where is a chrysalis? Yes, this is a number three, a chrysalis. Then the chrysalis becomes to a caterpillar, right? This is the number four. And the last one, this is an adult butterfly. This is an adult butterfly. Yes, this is the number five. Okay, now let's go to page number 17. Okay, what are we going to do here? Fly away, fly. We're going to listen. We're going to listen to the audio. Just listen to the audio. Let me resize this. Okay, fly away, fly. Okay, listen. Let me let me take let me play the yeah the audio for you. Okay. Just listen and look at the pictures. Okay, listen. Track eleven. Look and listen. There is orange juice on the table. There is fruit on the table. The boy isn't eating now. He's playing. The flies can smell the food and drink. They are flying to it. Oh no, they are eating the food. Remember, flies can make people sick. Put your food in the fridge. Okay. We are going to listen one more time and you're going to write the correct numbers in the pictures, okay? Just write the correct numbers in the pictures. Track listen. Eleven. Look and listen. There is orange juice on the table. There is fruit on the table. The boy is eating now. He's playing. The flies can smell the food. They are flying to it. Oh no, they are eating the food. Remember, flies can make people sick. Put your food in the fridge. Okay, I'm going to talk to you in Spanish right now, okay? Okay. 
there there's orange juice on the table orange juice on the table there are some fruit on the table there are some fruit on the table number two the boy is not eating the boy is not eating he is playing then flies comes to the fruit and start to smelling the fruit hay jugo de naranja y fruta en la mesa el chico no está comiendo está jugando de repente las moscas comienzan a oler la comida y el jugo ¿Ok? He noticed that. Y él se da cuenta de esto. The audio says, Remember, flies can make people sick. Recuerda, las moscas pueden hacer que te enfermes. So, please, please put the food in the fridge. Trata de poner los alimentos dentro del refrigerador. ¿Ok? Now, we're going to choose a correct option. What is the food? Number one, what is the food? In the yard or in the kitchen? In the yard or in the kitchen? What is the food? The food is in the yard, okay? In the yard. In the yard. Uh oh, I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for that. Let me change the tool. I'm going to make some circles, right? So I'm going to take the red color. That's better, okay? The Fruit is in the jar. The food is in the jar. Number two, flies can smell. Flies can smell fire or food. The flies can smell fire or food. They can smell food. Number three, put your food in the fridge, in the fridge or under the tree. Put your foot in the fridge or under the tree. Put your foot in the fridge. Okay? When you finish this, you finish the activities of this week. Okay? We are going to make some sentences in your notebook about the flashcards and the auxiliary to and does. Okay? I'm going to say that to you in Spanish. Vamos a hacer unas oraciones usando el auxiliar do y el das en tu cuaderno rosita, ¿ok? Esas oraciones las vamos a hacer en la clase, ¿sí? Si tú quieres adelantar el trabajo y quieres hacer las oraciones basándote en la presentación que te hice hace un rato, lo puedes hacer perfectamente, ¿ok? Sin problema, ¿ok? See you in the next class. Have a nice day.